Things Disney wants you to forget. Are there real skeletons in the Pirates of the Caribbean? The original Pirates of the Caribbean attraction at Disneyland opened in 1967 and at the time was revolutionary, utilising groundbreaking audio animatronics and a state-of-the-art ride system. While Disney's team of Imagineers were able to expertly craft the characters, costumes and world, there was reportedly one thing they couldn't crack, convincing lifelike skeletons. So the Imagineers were allegedly donated a bunch of skeletal remains from the UCLA Medical Center's anatomy department and placed them throughout the attraction. When sculpting technologies advanced many years later, the remains were returned and replaced with ones specially crafted by Imagineers. While Disney claims that no real skeletons remain in the attraction, some former park employees and Disney enthusiasts insist that there are at least four in there still, including that skull on the headboard.